Brown Weiss and Wonderful Souls, and welcome to Bronwyn's Code Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. If you're an old one, welcome back, my lovelies. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, soul family. Now, um, I'm going to be ringing my bell. Um, so if you have sensitivity to sound, please turn the volume down now as I cleanse the air. Three, two, one. Hello. Okay, now the messages that came through were quality over quantity. Follow the yellow brick road. This battle is not yours. It belongs to the Lord or to the cosmos. Creep vibes. Um, a judge has had enough of this person's attitude. And again, I keep getting this message of someone's wasting my time or someone feels like their time is being wasted. And this time it came out as the judge saying, you are wasting my time. Fine, fine, fine. And someone is leaving out certain information on purpose. That's what came through. So let's crack on and find out what is going on. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, please remember that my readings are, they sometimes feel like they're personal, but they are collective. So if something doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. It just means if it doesn't resonate with you, it will resonate with someone else. Do not make the story fit if it does not. If I say he, she, masculine or feminine, I'm talking about energies, unless I specifically say a man or a woman. Um, so it's up to you whether you assign gender, um, roles, gender, whatever. And if you don't, that's absolutely fine. Okay. Um, please be aware that my videos offer entertainment purposes only. Um, and if anything comes up in the areas of law, needing to get a lawyer, needing you know support for mental health, um, doctors, please make sure that you are going to those areas because I am not an expert. I'm not a therapist. I'm none of those things and I don't claim to be. Now let's see. Quality over quantity, the moon and the princess of wands. Now the moon is in reverse. I heard there's something to do with a family feud or family not being happy with something and the princess of wands is the is the page of wands. The page, any kind of page is something that is, um, I, went to, I went to say a foundling, something that's young, that's something that's just got off of its feet, something that is just learning how to do something so this is someone who could be a bit, a bit of a hothead or someone who's been a little bit too spontaneous and someone's displeased by this oh yeah you've got the three of swords underneath someone's displeased by this Quanti quality over quantity i don't know if somebody's stole i have st stolen a marker or someone was a marker or a target and they did something they done it wrong they did something wrong and they're heartbroken. They may have got caught out because you've got the King of Swords here. King of Swords is, um, I keep hearing judiciary, ju well, there's some words I cannot say, judiciary, the law, the courts, okay? This could be a lawyer, this could be a policeman, could be military, but I'm getting more, it's to do with law and order. And you have the Three of Swords, someone's heartbroken. They're heartbroken that they've been either caught out, someone in a family, or there's a family here who's upset because someone did something and it's outed them or they did something um, irresponsible or spontaneous and they weren't supposed to. And it's caught the eye of a policeman, of a sheriff, of a, a private investigator. Mm, that makes sense as well with the judge coming up with has had enough of this personal attitude and you're wasting my time, you're getting a fine. Someone's upset maybe with um, the results they got from, from from going to a court hearing or a court case, or maybe they spoke to an attorney and the attorney didn't tell them what they thought they'd hear. Got the Eight of Cups, yeah, something very overwhelming. This person's upset, they're upset about someone getting this new beginning or having to start over, I heard, I have to start over again. Or someone starting over again. Someone's gonna get that new beginning. The sun, there's growth coming in. I also feel though as that you have this princess of wands, something that was done quickly. This is a sense of adventure as well though. So this is somebody who, I feel like you have a younger energy here. There doesn't have to be a younger person, but it's somebody who doesn't really take account for their actions or somebody doesn't like to take account for the, or take responsibility. Going out and partying when really they should be at home with their kid, for example, or um, 
doing something why am i getting this person could have adhd they don't have to and i, I can't diagnose anyone with any type of you know neurodivergency or anything like that i'm just getting this energy of someone flitting from one thing to another and then maybe later secretly regretting that they were they had no impulse control but not saying anything I had the family let down so someone's oh there you go someone's let down by this you also have the high priestess in reverse to the sun someone's being outed and i had in the light of day someone's being outed for something they did and i feel like this is something legal they're trying to keep it together i heard but you've got the nine of wands here this is really a woman did someone get jumped they may have planned something. They may have planned for someone in the, the collective to get jumped, but this didn't happen. It didn't happen the way they thought it would. Stop. We've got the Ten of Swords here. To the full card. This battle is not yours. It belongs to the Lord or to the cosmos. If they're planning something, the chariot, they're planning some sort of like robbery or some sort of like jumping someone. And it's irresponsible or there's people around them or like their family's finding out. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting like the family are involved in something. This could be your family or it could be their family and their family are like, stupid. What are you doing? You're going to get us all caught. And there's something going through the legal system. This... The thing is as well is that the energy that I pick up on can be past, present or future. So this could have already happened. And this person could be now upset or overwhelmed because this is now on their permanent record or something along those lines. They may have been trying to hide this. They may have been speaking to an attorney about how do I get this off. And I heard dressed up like you or wrote something out like you. They were trying to have you set up so that you got arrested for something and it didn't go the way that they wanted. So now they're trying to bring something else towards you. The princess of wands to the sun. What? Burning something. Why am I getting specifically burning something? And you have the chariot. The chariot is about movement, definitely. The thing is, though, in the chariot, you usually see um, two different heads. One is white, one is black, okay? And it's signifying yin and yang, or it's, it's signifying, you know... Um, the darkness within us, the shadow, as well as the light. But in this one, you can only see the dark head. You can only see the shadow. So someone here is definitely sending something towards you. And I'm getting that they're sending it as a false light with that sun on top. There you go. King of Cups in reverse to the Hermit. This is somebody who wants you to go outside of your comfort zone, even if it's not for your benefit. There's a different... I don't know how to explain it properly. The Princess of Wands, again, being about adventure, it's almost like someone sending you an invite or wanting to bump into you and be like, oh my gosh, why don't you come to this blah, 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 but it's a setup. And the Hermit being upside down can be, you know, if you are very introverted, Virgos can be introverted or they're very um, analytical, they go within themselves. It's wanting you to um, ignore the finer details or go somewhere that you wouldn't usually go. That's what I mean by going outside of your comfort zone. But this is planned. This is planned. This is meticulously and calculatedly planned. There is some sort of, and I know I keep rep repeating it, but it's the way that I process information as it's being channeled to me. Um, they're planning to jump you. You are the person you're thinking of this resonates. And I, I don't ever... Um, say things to elicit fear in any way shape or form because my readings are for confirmation of what you already intuitively know if this is news to you then this is not your reading okay if you're like oh my gosh what the hell what's going on then this is not for you it's supposed to be for confirmation of what you intuitively already know you have temperance underneath here with the six of cups there's somebody here who's holding a grudge this person feels like they're being left behind the four to the ten of swords when you moved Forward. you did something already that left them in pieces they've either been beaten up they've been jumped they've been robbed something happened to them because they put themselves down as collateral if i can't produce this it's fine you can take me it's and they were so cocky about whatever it is that they did and they've already been mashed up so now it's almost like revenge like we're gonna get this i'm gonna get this beat i'm gonna get this person and this person is unhinged, okay? 
the six of cups this is somebody either from your past or somebody who's trying to make you nostalgic nostalgic about the past about her times that you parted or times that you went out times of adventure i don't know why i'm getting for people that like used to go to places like ibiza or cos or um cancun or something along those lines two of cups in reverse this is someone pretending to be a fake friend and you've got five of pentacles in reverse whatever it is that they're planning is it's supposed to take them out of lack or take them yeah ace of cups it takes them out of lack or it takes them out of harm's way but the thing is with this judge has had enough of this person's attitude and the judge you are wasting my time fine 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 i feel like there's more going on than what meets the eye this is also like this is not just i want to get this person robbed or jumped or, or someone to jump them this is i want to get this person in trouble with the police or with the law and they may have gone to they may have gone to court to to open something do a sanction or what, i don't know what happens in courts but um the judge was just like you're wasting my time what are you talking about you have no evidence I'm giving you a fine. I've had enough of this. So maybe they've tried doing this more than once. Maybe that, do you know what as well? I feel like there's something going on here with um, having someone harm them purposely and then stating that you did it. But it, it, it doesn't add up or this, whoever it is that, that was in court on that day that, that was a judge was like, you've been here before or you've been caught for scamming, you've been caught for fighting. You have a history of doing A, B and C or being around nefarious people i don't believe you i'm not investing in this bs mm, okay got hanged woman in reverse which i'm putting down here this there's um a rush to do something to your memory or well, you're about to have a massive it's like a um a, 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 i was gonna say news flash but what i meant to say is like a flash from the memory from the past something's going to come forward for you it's how you healed your sacral chakra if you've been healing and working through solar plexus and, and sacral chakra energy something's about to come to light for you queen of wands in reverse to the star someone who's low-key been copying your energy or someone who's low-key been jealous of you and I'm getting with this sacral chakra, this is either family or this is a friend of the family or someone that you saw as family. You've got strength in reverse. This is an energy vampire. This is a succubus or an incubus. This is somebody who just drains other people because they can. All right. And they, mm, this is what I mean. It doesn't have to be your family, but I feel that, that they're linked to your family in some way. And I heard it's a group team. It's a group ting. So I don't know who uses slang like that. I mean, they use slang like that in London, but it could be from any culture. But there's a group of people, they either see themselves as family or they literally are family who have been doing this. And someone is vexed that they were spontaneous or they're acting irresponsible. And the law is looking at them and they want to keep things quiet. And you've got here, this person is trying to do things while you sleep, okay? So be aware of this. We've got a lot of purple and blue coming out. They're trying to block your dream downloads. They want to know what you know and how much you know. And they want to block it. Of course they do. They want to block this. Because the princess of swords is the page of swords. And the page of swords is somebody who's very studious. This could be an Aquarius. It's your 11th house. So this is friends. This is community. These are people that you know. There's a rat in the kitchen. There's always a rat in the kitchen, isn't there? I was going to say, it's like it's it's like it's based in New, New, New York or London. Rats everywhere. Just rats. But this person, they don't want you... They don't want you knowing something. They may have tried planning this before and it went south. They have tried planning this before and it went south. You've got tower underneath and you've got the, the six of wands. I don't know what it is that they keep trying to do in the, in the courts. They keep trying to do something and they're purposely leaving out certain information. They're purposely doing this. And whoever it is, I don't feel like they're having the same judge every time. 
but they're now being seen as a nuisance. This person might want to come forward or they're going to send someone towards you that wants to give you some sort of information, but I hear they want to fight you. They literally want to fight you, but this person is too cowardly to come to you themselves. I just heard, um, so someone here watches another tarot reader and I love her, I love her vibes. I don't drop names, but she said um, that someone went into her dream state and tried to F with her, so she gave them the mink mink. And I swear that cracked, I cracked up when I heard that because I was like, that's perfect. And that's what I just heard, give them the mink mink. Um, so whoever it is that, that's watching, um, there's something here about this person wouldn't come to your face because they are scared that you would F them up, not only in this realm, but in you've already done it in the astral realm. You've already done it in the astral realm. And I heard, but show some show some restraint on this realm, okay? Because you, you don't need to be exchanging energy with this person, but they wouldn't come towards you. They wouldn't come towards you. They literally wouldn't. They know, they literally know that the more that they do this, the more they're putting a burden and a rod on their own back. And they're still doing it. They're literally still doing it. Because you've got here the tower. So this is continued oppression. You've got the six of swords. This is a failure. But this is also like a failed marriage. I don't know what's going on with this person. There's jealousy. There's a lot of jealousy going on here. You've got the four of cups. This is knowing. This is this is um, accepting something. And then you have the Six of Swords. They want you to accept failure. They want you to accept... Um, this person's delusional. They want you to accept some sort of defeat when they're the ones that are, keep getting knocked out on their butt. Three of Swords to the Six of Swords. They did something in the past that they saw as like a victory or they saw as um, getting them out of harm's way, but actually hurt you. What was that? Well, this person is, um, it's almost like this person has a, they have a vendetta against you because how did you break their heart? Were they jealous of how you heal? That's oh, my mum. Hello. Okay. Okay. Okay, mum. Okay. I love you. Bye. Bye. So, this person, um, I don't know what this is. There's somebody here who. of ones you got the stability well they got stability and they got money but it wasn't what they wanted there's something about causing heartache or being jealous of some sort of pain that you went through the four of wands to the ten of pentacles in reverse this is almost like having a home and stability but not being happy with it or the outside looks really good but inside it's awful okay and then you have the empress i don't know if they're trying to tell people that you are um you're an abuser, I heard. They wanted people to think that you were an abuser. I don't know if this person holds these traits towards other people. I'm getting really narcissistic vibes. Um, there's also money involved. I don't know why I'm getting money involved. Four of Wands to the Empress. This is happy family life. And you have the Nine of Pentacles as well. Someone is single, someone is abundant, someone is really abundant, someone is just chilling the F out. I don't know if someone has Spanish ancestry because there's a, a pomegranate in their hand um, and that's on the Spanish flag. I don't know why I know that. Um, something about Halloween is quite important as well. And the four of wands here, this is about stability. This is your root chakra or material wealth coming in. There is the energy of Persephone or um, an underworld energy coming through that I don't know if it works with this high priestess. I heard, yes, it does. But I heard you are safe. You're safe. This, this energy doesn't come towards your home. Your home is protected. Low key, this person didn't know. 
this person didn't know i feel like this person tried to do something before that ended in in heartbreak for this person and it ended up putting them in actual physical harm's way as a um a repercussion of that because this is coming down to kind of like actions and consequences and it takes us back full circle because this person has the energy of like um the princess of wands they are it's almost like they're a free spirit that's what they tell people i'm a free spirit i'm young at heart they could be older than you they could be younger than you but this person is very childish it's a different there's a difference between being childlike and being childish this person is immature they tried doing something to you, low-key, and they didn't realise that you were thriving while you were single. They may have caused some sort of separation, but that was for you. And this, you know, this battle is not yours. It belongs to the Lord or to Cosmos. This is letting you know that if this person tries to step to you in any way, and I doubt that they will, or tries to send anything towards you, give it up to God, give it up to Allah, give it up to Vishnu, give it up to the oneness of all. Cleanse your space, of course, but you're just being told it's not your battle. You don't need to because this person is, I've said this before, it's that the sign of madness is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. They are literally digging their own, their own grave. They're doing it themselves, okay? So let them let, let them make their bed and let them lay in it. Creep vibes, though. I didn't get through to creep vibes. I'll follow the yellow brick road. Mm. What about follow the yellow brick road? What was that about? Universal love is in the bus. Dynamic. The frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonise between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. It helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new, with ease, grace and, and great joy. This is about alchemy. This And you've got Gaia underneath as well, which says the frequency of Gaia reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another, just as we are great just as we are to our great mother and the universe that birthed us all this is someone's space, um, spiritual awakening someone's going through a spiritual awakening and i feel this is why you're being told to just um you know give this up to god or to allah or to divine source or whoever you see as the you know oneness of all because you following this yellow brick road is reminding me of course it's wizard of oz but it's also to do with your inner child and how you follow passions lead and how you heal this is just another um it's another facet of your healing and this person is honestly like the the princess of wands in reverse it's like this child that's having a wobbler and I, I i feel like this person thought at one point that they were really good at manipulating they've been coached at some point in how to manipulate others how to use you know moon magic and how to do something in the court system but they've got like they got too big for their boots or they got too confident in something something went wrong for them to just go i couldn't give an f i'm going to do it this way and i'm going to take this person to court i'm going to do this i'm going to do that there's no thought process behind it or no planning behind it and i heard it's going to be it's going to be to their own demise it's literally going to be to their own demise can i get one more please from the top earth is in reverse yeah this person's really ungrounded really ungrounded they may be trying to send like, and you've got healing underneath, they may be trying to send um, elemental energy towards you. So ensure that you are grounding and that you're cleansing. Your, I keep hearing, but your home is protected. Your home is protected. So if they're trying to send something towards your home or toward, towards the, the earth of your home, it's protected. Nothing's going to happen. Now, before I go, let's get some houses and stuff. Capricorn. So this is your 10th house and it's to do yeah this is your career and fame because you've also got jupiter is known as the planet of luck and abundance where it is placed in your birth chart will uncover how you experience fortune wealth and success so this person is trying to do something to your opportunities to thrive when it comes to abundance hmm. and you've got virgo underneath your work routine this is all to do with work this person is extremely jealous extremely jealous and then you have underneath here libra they were trying to do something about your job when it comes to um taking you to court for something 
I don't know what you do as a job, but I feel like your reputation exceed it, it's your reputation is your reputation for a reason because you're either a healer, a carer. There's something about being a service provider, and you don't have to be a service provider, but there's the energy of service to the collective consciousness. You can be a doctor, you could be a um professional weightlifter. It doesn't matter what it is that you do, there is a facet skill that or facet or there's, there's layered skills that you have within your industry that help other people. And you've got the placement of Neptune in your chart explains your psychic intuition and how you dream. Pay, pay close attention to your dreams and make sure that you are giving very detailed instructions to your guides of where you want to go or don't want to go. Who you want not to be in your dream state. What you want them to do. Do you want them to return them to sender, send them to light, kick their, kick their butt? What do you want them to do? Be very specific in this and give them those instru instructions every night, okay? Because they are listening. They literally are listening. I'm going to leave it there, okay? I hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated for you, I'd love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when I post. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much, soul family. Hearts, kisses. I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.